I think the BOJ was really just uh, playing catch up with um, market reality. You know, we'd been paying a lot of attention to the 20 year uh, JGB yield uh, from this summer. And the reason is that normally the spread between the 10 and 20 year JGB would be 40 to 50 basis points. So it was a pretty tight spread. But then if you looked over the summer, that spread increased to almost 1%. So what that said was that the market really believes that yields in Japan are and should be much higher than what the, the BOJ was doing by holding the 10 year yield artificially low, you know, capping it at 25 basis points. And so what they've done now is just caught up partially with reality. And if we want to get back to sort of the normal uh, yield spread between the 10 year JGB and the 20 year JGB, I think the BOJ is going to have to increase that cap again to about 75 basis points. So I think they're just playing catch up with the market. And what about the, the movements in the yen off the back of this? I mean, how can this, or I should say, where can this take the yen in terms of that, that strength? So, I mean, we've been seeing the yen as being overly weak, uh, you know, all summer. Uh, at 150, the yen is just ridiculously cheap. You know, we see fair value as around 120 yen to the dollar. Um, it's moved up to 132. I think it still has, you know, at least another 10% uh, strengthening of the yen to go. And I think the BOJ's move has accelerated our projection for when the yen will get back to the 120 level. Um, you know, we were expecting it in the spring or um, let's say next summer. Um, I, I think it can happen sooner because I think the BOJ will have further policy moves by the spring, whether it's just before Kuroda leaves or, you know, soon after. But I think we'll see further moves from the BOJ towards interest rate normalization, policy normalization, and I think we'll see further yen strengthening happening sooner rather than later. Right, and what do you think this tells us about where Karuda is at? And I mean, do we take what he says as face value? I mean, he talks about improving market functions to help enhance the, fa the, 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 the further monetary easing potentially. I mean, what, what does this say about perhaps his pragmatism? I mean, you say it's getting up to speed with reality. I mean, look, the BOJ already owned half of the supply of JGBs. And if they wanted to keep yield curve control where it was, they would have had to continue buying more yen, uh, more JGBs that would make them move further away from, you know, what would eventually be the target of uh, quantitative tightening at some point, right? I, I think that was unsustainable. So, so they've had to do this. On the shorter end of the curve, I think they will be much more successful in keeping it very low. And um, so I don't expect as much change there. I mean, maybe they go from negative interest rates to zero or very small positive over time. But I, I think it, it was basically the longer term yields. They just could not keep them down. I, I mean, they were fighting very strong forces. So they're just catching up with the market.